y'all. It's Paula, Hillbilly Orchids, back again to do my um, weekend walk around. Um, section three of my jungle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been trying to trying to get to this today because, um, like, I, I my legs are really hurting today. So, I'm going to try to power through this. Um, hopefully, this section won't take us as long. <laughs> I'm hoping. Usually, when you get into it and you start talking about a plant or something, then you start, um, you know, things start, you know, getting out of hand from there. So, but, um, yeah, I've been trying to, I've been trying to make myself feel better all day so I could get this you know, in the works, because I promised you guys we'd start having weekend walk-arounds, and that's what I want to do. So, I think over here on this section, we're going to go, we got one, two, three, four, and the fourth shelf is just on the bottom. Um, it's only got two Phalaenopsis on it, and the rest are um, violets that uh, Michael McCarthy gifted me. Um, so, I won't really, I mean, I'll show you the violets, but... Um, you know, we, we won't really go over them or anything, um, because this is not a violet channel. <laughs> this is not a violet channel. This is an orchid channel. <laughs> but I think I'm going to start down there, and we might have to take it section by section. Uh, I might have to, you know, stop the video and start again kind of things um, to move things around and get things situated so we can go through everything. But... Here we go. We're going, going down, <laughs> down, 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 down. Okay, down here I just have one of those um, little spiral uh, incandescent bulbs, um, but I did, I did install. Um, there's one Barina grow light there. Um, so, but these are all the beautiful, beautiful. Um, Violace or violacea, <laughs> and sorry too, I get stuffy when I lean over and out. I don't know what's going on with me. These are all my beautiful violets that Michael McCarthy gifted me. Beautiful trailing, um, uh, trailing miniature. Um, well, I don't know about these, these probably aren't miniature. Um, violets. This one here is uh, cutest little angel or the littlest angel was one that um he had sent me when he didn't he didn't know i was gonna have to put uh dozer to sleep and uh he's like that was kind of fitting and i was like yeah it is so that's my that's my little plant i think of dozer every time but these two phalaenopsis down here they're they're not really a big deal they're no ids they're not uh you know um not not anything super duper special just um no ids so now this shelf here i'm gonna have to like i said i'm gonna have to try to kind of hold it like this and so I can see what I'm doing, but um, this one here, this is a new, um, a new acquisition. I haven't released the video on it yet. I tell you because I was half thinking I wasn't going to, and half thinking I should, because that's the one that I paid sixty-five dollars for. That I seen somebody else get from the same place that paid sixty-five for it, and theirs is twice the size. So, and you can see, I mean, it's it's not a bad plant, but it's not a $65 plant. Um, you know, I was really, really disappointed with them. I, I knew better than to do it, but I really wanted it. It's a, um, um, I know what it is, but I can't think. It's a uh, Denyard Blue Heaven. Um, you know, and I, I just... I knew better than to try to order it from them. I just, I really wanted the plant. So I should have listened to Michael. He told me Waldor had them. And I probably would have gotten a much better, nicer plant. I mean, and the roots on this thing were just crap. But that's the way it is when you buy stuff from from this person. 
her son, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's just the way it goes. But, all right, let me see if I can, I'll set him down here on the floor out of the way. This one right here beside it, this one is, um, I got it from Carter and Holmes. I wish this plant was a, was blooming size, which I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a good size Cattleya, but this is a, um, Amphion Cherry Pie. The blooms on this, that this plant is, is just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I cannot wait to see those blooms, but I'm sure I've got a ways to go. This little fella here, this is, uh, of course, uh, Cattleya Schroederay. Schroederay? Is that, am I saying that correctly? I hope so. Um, not doing too bad. That new growth is progressing along really nicely. Not too shabby of a growth. Not too shabby of a growth. Growing pretty good. Um, over here, this is, uh, Cattleya Moss, Mossiae, Mossiae Cerulea. This one is a nice, um, nice, nice Cattleya. Um, I got that one from Chadwick and Sons. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's a nice big plant and that nice, that new growth is coming right along. Um, it's a new acquisition as well. It hasn't, uh, hasn't been potted up long and it's really taken off. Um, over here, this is just, um, these are kikis that I took off of my, um, dendrobium yellow splash. So not, not anything big to write home about. <laughs> This is Zygopetalum Mackay Mac, Mac, um, that Michael McCarthy gifted me. And look, Michael, finally. I think I'm going to cry. I'm not sure you can see it if I can get my fingers out of the way. No, let's see. Can you see it? Hey! I have been waiting and been waiting and been waiting on this plant to do something because Michael sent it to me in moss and he said, I really recommend that you don't take it out of moss. But, um, <laughs> he's like, not yet because, I mean, it's just, it's just a one stalk plant. And, I mean, it's, I mean, it's really, it's done pretty good. Um, the moss, I don't like the looks of it, but uh, it is what it is. I'm kind of leaving it be in my environment for right now. All right. Next is um, this guy right here. This is, um, let's see if I can get it in the shot a little better. That is the uh, Dendrobium Visa Peach. That is a nice, uh, nice big dendrobium that uh, I purchased, and um, it bloomed for me already. So the blooms are, the blooms are over. I need to dust. <laughs> I need to dust so much. Um, back there is. Those are two um, huge um, dendrobium phalaenopsis types. Um, they do not have actual names, but they, um, they're both, uh, the Thailand Black. Um, I don't believe that, I think that's just a trade name. I don't believe that that is, um, I don't believe that's a registered name or anything. I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but, uh, Yeah. <laughs> But of course, and they're they're so big. They've gotten they've grown so much in my care. They've really taken over. So that's why they're over there by the window, enjoying all the life they can bring in. Nothing in that. This is uh, RLC um, Shawi Shawian Sunrise Sunset. Um, I saw this on somebody's channel. Cannot remember who can't recall who um but it's a big beautiful reddish orangish um you know sunsetty type 
uh, fluffy cat layer. So I'm like, hey, I'm down with that. <laughs> That's right up my aisle. So we'll go that route. Um, that one, it was new this summer. That was a new acquisition. So um, this one here, this is, um, I moved her. She was up on the other shelf. Um, this is my, um, uh, I always draw a blank when I'm put on the spot. Prada Green. Um, no, no sign of a bud yet in that, which is part of why I moved her. Um, cause normally this plant does not skip a beat on blooming for me. So, but I wanted to put her down here where the light is a little more. Now, back here, this poor little, let go. <laughs> this poor little, um, plant is, um, that is an apple blossom. That is a, um, yes, Michael, another apple blossom. I told you I wasn't done. <laughs> um, that was the, the very first apple blossom that I bought. And when I purchased it, it was literally, it was this bulb here that has shriveled up and died. It was this bulb and this one. Well, it, shortly after I received it, it came into bloom and I was not knowing, of course, at that time, you know, it was relatively new to me. So I wasn't, wasn't that versed in cat layers. So, um, I let it bloom. Well, the blooms took it down. The blooms took this division way down. I almost lost it. So I managed to bring it back. It has recovered slowly. It's really a sad, sad looking thing. But as you can see though, the, the new growths are starting to perk up. Um, they're starting to get a little bit better, but it was doing weird things like, I don't know if you can see that um, double headed uh, pseudobulb right there. <laughs> it was starting to do some weird things, but I'm like, well, long as you're living and you're trying, you know, I'm gonna keep trying. So, uh, this one right here, this one's a fairly new acquisition. This is a Catlea Triani uh, Kong Collar. Um, this one's new. Um, that new growth is coming along, looking pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll see. That one's, like I said, it's new to my collection and kind of go from there. Now this one here, I was really surprised to see this pretty little thing because this is a huge plant that I got from SVO. If I turn it to this side, um, I mean it's a huge, huge plant and I've been waiting and been waiting and been waiting on this thing to bloom. So finally I'd seen, it did get caught and um, had released itself already, but it was bent. So it did straighten itself out, which I was thankful for, because I really want to see this bloom. It's of course a beautiful pink, um, LC Pink Treasure. Beautiful pink uh, flower. So, and then back there is another very tall uh, um, Dendrobium Phalaenopsis. Um, it is, uh, I think that one's Purple Happiness, they call it, the, uh, the unregistered name or whatever, um, just what they call them, because they're blue, purple, that kind of thing. This pretty plant here beside this one, I don't need to watch out, and we'll pull that one over. This big cat laying here, this thing has done fantastic. Now this is the one that, um, yes, this is the one that Tammy Flincham sent me, uh, from Better Grow. My tag actually, um, disintegrated for that plant, but you can see this plant has, I mean, it has gotten huge. The, the leaves are clear over here, and I mean, it's really grown really nice. Um, it was a bag baby. Um, it is a, um, yellow with a red lip. It is, I'm not sure if you can see the that is the name of it, Potnara, blah, 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 <laughs> those, those words that, uh, 
are a little difficult for Paula to say without butchering up too much, but this plant has really come a long way. Like I said, that was a little bag baby that uh, she had sent me a few years back. Now, trying to move everybody around and try to be cautious of that bloom. This one here, <clears throat> this little guy, this is a, um, this little plant has really, really perked up for me. And I really, at first I thought there's two plants in this pot. And there still might be, but this is a uh, Hawaiian Leopard Mei Ling. These uh, bulbs are so thin that they get, um, they get growing out and then they bend. So I'm having a lot of issues with this one. I've been up in the calcium to see if that doesn't um, help. Um, you know strengthen them some so we shall see with that one but I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to pause now before we go up to the next shelf so that I can get everybody back up on this shelf so I don't like stumble over anybody so hang on one second and I will be right back okay we are back <clears throat> all right now let's see it's going to take me some doings to get this out of here but Let's go with this guy. This little guy was over there on the um, the table in the first one. I moved it over here. You know how shuffling goes uh, in the jungle. <laughs> this one got shuffled too. reason it got shuffled is because... Uh, I don't know if you can see that little bump right there. I'm curious trying to get it to really pop and see what's going on. This is uh, Catacetum Spitzii Red. So I'm real, real curious to see if I can get that to pop and see what's going on with that. Um, this is the, um, the Catasandra little bulbs that I had showed you that I did uh, special videos on um, with the, uh, the growth, the uh, new little plantlets on the... Um, roots that came up that's the one on the bottom still still hanging in there um, kind of hard to see through the pot that's a little better so I don't know um, you know see what goes on with it um, should actually just pull it up out of there and let's actually take a look at it underneath. Let's focus, would you? There it go. Right there at the top. Yeah, that's what it's doing. <laughs> so see about what this one's gonna do but let me move it out of the way see what's next this um I'll move this over here because again um, I have a I have two Barina grow lights up here this is um little uh Cucolata babies that I've been growing um I got them from uh, Spencer. She said she was just going to throw them away. And I told her, I was like, nah, just ship them to me. I'll see what I can do with them. So, um, I mean, they're not doing too bad, but they're small. It's going to take a little bit of time for them to grow up. I thought, well, I'll give it a whirl. Now, this interesting little guy here, and I mean, do mean little. <laughs> You can see the size of them little buds. Um, this is Catacetum. I can get it to let go there. Got so many long, leafy, fluffy little guys. 
This is Catacetum uh, dentigri dentigrionum. So I'm, am I saying that right? Dentigrionum uh, crossed with uh, Chuck Taylor. Um, what's that say? <laughs> what's that say? Chuck Taylor Sunray. It's a uh, Dentigrionum. Uh, love this flower. Cross with Chuck Taylor uh, Sunray. So really curious. I mean, that is a. I didn't really expect this little guy to bloom. Um, when that spike come out, it was stuck in a leaf and a sheath. So I had to peel that off to free it. There's only going to be two little blooms, but really curious. So we'll see how that one pans out and this little guy here this is a better grow this is um this is one of the ones that uh justin got from uh bag babies um, i had told you i had four and there was two on the two on the other side the jungle and uh this one is um uh, yep that name there <laughs> But looking quite well and growing quite nice and husk. Um, the uh, new growth looks really, really good. Um, I do believe the one behind, beside of it, this one here, is also the other one that Justin sent me. Um, yep, this is a uh, Ludomaniana cerulea. That last that right there was the last new growth looking pretty good and right here this big wild fella and that's not really big and it is definitely wild though this is um zygonesia sinosier am i saying that right dove of peace um this was a little seedling size plant when I got it. Of course, it's definitely taken off. It's taken, uh, taken its wings of its own and, and uh, definitely, definitely, definitely is taking over the grow space on this shelf. It's definitely getting wild and bushy, but doing pretty good. Um, it's in husk as well. Um, so that I can keep it decently moist, but it's not doing bad. Nice little plant. All right, this is um, this is a woo woo. This is a Catacetum pileatum. Um, or is that, I'm saying that right too? It might not be. Uh, Michael sent me Michael McCarthy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm like, did you know I wanted one of those? And he was like, nope. <laughs> I was like, guess what? I really did. So, really awesome. This is a beautiful, um, it's got like a big, wide dish-like lip. It's just, and it's red. I think it's red. Yeah. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. So, that one's a gift from Michael McCarthy. And this poor looking thing here. This is a division that I took off of um, Potnara. No, wait a minute. I think, did that name change? Which I don't know if you guys are really concerned about name changes. Uh, it came to me. It's Potnara. Yes, it did change because that's Petite Petite Lucky. What did, uh, it's a... Uh, Petite Patty, now they said, uh, Michael said, I think, but it came to me, Petite Petite Lucky, and um, it's a big, uh, like you'll see the mother plant over there, but it was a section that I took off, and the plant over there is still huge, but again, this one, um, this one was the one, another one that wouldn't, didn't want to, didn't want to you know it was it was depleting and it did not want to um make a new growth for me or roots so but it finally did as you can see it's uh definitely making amends there and uh 
it's got a couple of nice new growths on it so not too bad and beside it here this is a little seedling that um, I grew um, since it was wee little this one's definitely 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 gotten a lot bigger and this thing I, I really honestly don't know how it's still alive because it's tumbled off of this shelf I don't know how many times but this is um, Marcella Koss and that's what it should look like one day when it blooms so beautiful I, you know me and my pink <laughs> but yep that is a pretty one she's really doing good in the pot and really took off in that husk and that's a relative uh relatively new pot up um let's see if it says on there when i did it yeah october 13th of this year i mean and look at that i'm telling you guys husk is just incredible i'm not joking cat Leia's even love it i just i mean i don't even have to tell you just look that's that was in October you know I mean it has really taken to husk so but enough on that little ranting tangent not really rant really was it <laughs> uh, beside it here this is a division of my Lily Marie um, before I had potted it up I took off a back division this was actually part of the original plant that I started with is why it looks so bad but it actually started all over again it it took off and hasn't missed a beat since I mean got this brand new growth on it right here I mean it Lily Marie is just kind of hard one to keep down um let's see beside of it here this is um this is Cloesia Warswesia, Warswesia, Michael McCarthy sent me, and uh, it's, I don't know why it's growing, <laughs> it's not supposed to be, but it is growing, it is uh, making roots, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard to see down there, but um, I had to get it potted up, oh, I do know why, um, I think he said it's come from a different hemisphere so that uh it should be should be going dormant but it's not and this one should be too but this one i got from spencer as well um she had she sent me this bulb and um the cucolata babies um but this she couldn't get this bulb to pop an eye you know pop its eyes she couldn't get it to grow but uh that's this one here and for some odd reason it popped but it popped late they they popped but there's two growths on it and they popped way late way way late uh this little guy back here this is another um little seedling that i had bought um it is uh that's what it should look like this is a hawaiian hawaiian passion little seedling that I purchased um, I potted it at the same time I did the uh, the cost and the husk so it's starting to uh, it's starting to take off as well so now this special little guy here this is um, this is Catlea Rex um, William Green did a video um, where the um, he had one of his Catlea Rex, one of his big um, big ones that he was waiting on to bloom. Um, it had developed um, some kind of black rock, so he offered on on his channel. He said, uh, "Hey, anybody." wants to pay shipping um i will ship you this plant and you can deal with the black rot and see if you can save it and you know if you want to if not no harm no foul so i was the first one that contacted him and um 
he he was a little relieved. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm glad it's you. He's like, um, you know, at least you know a little bit about what you're doing with cat layers and, you know, I can talk you through some things and you'll understand it and things like that. But he said, I think it stands a good chance with you. So, which the mother plant or the big part of the plant is really doing weird. But um, this little section, it's growing good. It's really, um, really not doing bad at all. It's got roots. Um, it hasn't popped any new growth yet. Um, and it does still look a little bit desiccated, but it's, you know, I'm just patiently waiting, just, just holding my breath and seeing what happens. Um, the eyes on this little one just do not look that great, but, you know, you just, you kind of just don't ever know exactly where and what's going to pop and when it's going to pop, you know? So, you just kind of patiently sit back and you wait and, and really hope something happens soon. But, <clears throat> I too am glad that, uh, you know, glad to have contacted him and, and tried to get this one. Um, I'll show you at the end, I'll show you the, um, the mother plant to that one because it's not over here. All right, this poor little guy here, this is a little seedling that um, I had grown. Um, it came, um, it was really, really, it was bug covered, um, sad, sad looking shape. And uh, I contacted him back and he said, uh, um, I forget, I think he said that he didn't have any more. He refunded me. He's like, throw that away. I apologize. You know, I mean, he was really, really great about it. But I fought with it. I, um, I mean, it was a really small, sad looking seedling. Um, it was this bulb here, which you can see. It, it has grown, but it's so desiccated. That bulb, I mean, it shriveled down to basically nothing. But it's, it's trying to make a comeback. Um, so... I'm going to try to help it out and give it every effort to, to live. Alright, now, this big gal here, this is, um, Yafon Green Batman. We've got two spikes. Cannot wait to see this one again. This was beautiful. It came in bloom. Um, I'm training that leaf there. That leaf was wanting to be a little wonky, so I put the Velcro, sh Velcro strap on it till it hardens off and stays where it should. But that plant's looking really good. Um, it's, it's really grown, as you can see. Like these were the these were the original leaves that it came with, and these have grown in my care. So it's really really um, expanded its horizon for sure. I really need to set it down somewhere out of the way so we can see the other stuff. Um, let me see where I can set this. Uh, I don't have anywhere. Hang on one second. Let's walk across here, side of the room, so I can set it over here maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. Do not fall. <laughs> I heard them spikes all cry for days. All right, this little guy here, this is the um, Miltonia Sunset uh, division that I have, one of them. The other two are on the other side down on the bottom. This one was a smaller one, so I kept it up here with the, uh, under the grow grow lights, so. This big guy back here, that is the big division to the, um, Petite, petite, lucky, or uh, what I say it was now, something patty. <laughs> petite patty. Um, growing new bloom, or new bloom, growing new, got new growth. Actually, this one, after I did that, it, it put up several new growths throughout. This one, it's hard to see it, but back here, this one's a new growth. It put up like three new growths right in there. Alright, this big Phalaenopsis gal here, 
that I need to repot desperately because she is pushing herself up out of the pot. This is um, Phalaenopsis artemis, uh, which is Amabilis crossed with Equestris. This is um, this has really unique um, unique blooms on it. They are white, but they're unique looking, uh, which is why I wanted it. But I am working on getting ready to up pot her here soon. So now that that big um, cat layer back there, I'm trying to find some place to set Artemis. <laughs> Uh, that big Cattleya back there. Now, I want you to notice, I want you to pay attention to, um, first of all, I want to show you this. If I can, the amount of roots that's on that thing. But, I want you to pay attention to how this plant is. The growth pattern of it and everything. And how big the leaves are and everything this plant <clears throat> whoops it's gonna fall over this big plant is one of my other remember I told you I had three um, Ruby Hawaiian Paradise better grow this was one of the three bag babies that I bought. And I told you that one looked a lot different than the other two. The other two were like floppy looking, a lot smaller leaves. So this one, this one I think is about as close as I can say is going to bloom. Um, that's why I have it over here um, in the sunlight getting as bright a light as I can possibly give it. To try to get it to bloom but uh, that's what I said I don't understand it's really it's it's a whole lot different looking than my other two in the way that um, in the way that it's going you know it's all over the place but all right I'm going to pause put everything back on that shelf and then we'll hit the top shelf so I'll hang on I'll be right back Okay, y'all, it's Paula back, Hillbilly Orchids. Um, listen, <laughs> I apologize, but um, I'm not going to be able to get to that top shelf because um, the videos just wound up getting really long. Um, this one's going to be longer than I really would like them to be. Um, so I'm just going to have to cut the, the top shelf off and put it on the next next one but I thought we'd go over the Cattleya Rex the bigger one like I told you um, real quick here just so I could explain that we're not gonna go over the last shelf but <clears throat> this is the one that uh, has a nice new growth there starting but you can see the black rot quote unquote but I tell you what it's not mushy it is not as hard as a rock and solid um, but this, um, this is the end that had the black rot and I cut and cut and cut and, uh, you can even, uh, you can see right there where I cut. I sent pictures to Michael McCarthy and I'm like, you know, is that good? Nope. Is that good? Nope. So when he said it was good, I even cut like one more cut after that. That's why it looks so you know so weird of a slice I just wanted to make sure that I got it all but oddly it it bypassed this bulb even and it came up and went over and started up this bulb so I mean it's really really odd but <clears throat> even the weirdest thing is if I can get it up out of here Even the weirdest thing that I noticed is, is it's got great roots. <laughs> um, it really rooted and, uh, yeah, so I'm a little confused about that. 
But with that said, y'all, like I said, I don't want to keep this too much longer. Uh, we'll hit the other shelf on the next one. So with that said, I want to thank y'all for coming and hanging out with me. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by and I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank all my new subscribers and my old subscribers and bye for now till we meet again.